Hello everyone, this is Jen and welcome to my channel. So I'm here for a um, Chic Sparrow unpackaging. I did kind of peek at the um, number eight that I ordered. So Chic Sparrow um, had the number eight. It is like an A5 slim size and they have come out with a new design. I wanted to get this particular design because it has like a little teardrop pin loop. So um, I ordered it in a, um, what is it called, in the butter rum, and yeah, so um, what's nice is the new designs come in different sizes, and now they have the clasp like this on the notebooks, which is really nice. So let's go ahead and get this unpackaged and boom that is beautiful it is in did i say butter rum formerly known as butter rum this is emma and that is a beautiful color it will patina um i wanted to get like kind of a firmer um leather i also have the This is the Dakota. So the difference with these is, I guess now some of them have the Chic Sparrow um, logo on it. This one does not. So it's kind of nice to have one with the logo, one without. And so this one is a really floppy leather. Um, this is part of the Cody leather. I did a Cody leather unboxing. Um, this leather is no longer available, but to me it is close to almost like the creme, just not as floppy but it does remind me of creme a lot so if you want like something like about this color and but just with not as much floppiness i would say get the chocolate creme definitely so see it has like the little teardrop pin holder and um yeah but the new design is really nice too there's like a strip of leather here a strip of leather there and it's just like straight down and it comes in many different um, sizes. I will say I'm probably going to get one. If I get one, I'm going to get and get it in A6, I believe, because A6 is kind of my go-to size um, all the time. I may sometimes switch up between B6 and A6, but A6 is like kind of my go-to. I would like to do pocket, but what's nice about A6 is if I want to put a pocket um, notebook in there, I can. But anyway, so yeah, so um, this is the number eight. And um, I'm going to just put some books. The striations, there's tons of striations on this leather. It is a really pretty leather. I did sell a Butter Rum B6 Deluxe, and I feel like this kind of replaces that because um, I do like the Austin leather. So let's go ahead um, and I'm going to show you actually um, how I set this up really quick if you would like to see. But um, that's just the quick unboxing of this um, Emma. Very quick <laughs> unboxing. So, um, but yeah, so um, I decided I am going to go back into this Moleskine. I'm going back into this Moleskine because I need a dated planner to pre-date um, some things. But also, I am, um, because of like gardening, I'm doing like gardening and canning and things like that. I actually wanted a place to put those types of things where I can look and go to really quick with that. Um, I have done like like different layouts try different layouts for um, this planner. I think I said before I wasn't big on the paper. It is thin. Um, I mean, I, I like thin paper. I like Tomo River Paper Anthology. It's just a different kind of thin. But I was like, you know what? I think this would be perfect to put like re looking really quick like um, I can some jam or whatever. Just quick things that I need to look at. So I will probably be using this for that and then there's like I put this out of a uh, um, agenda 52 one of my uh, 299 I think it's like 299 or 249 um, sticker books 
and I like this because it's just different things like pound of budget, um, got the stamp of approval. Um, I didn't hit the snooze. <laughs> uh, took a power nap, returned a call. So I just thought it was fun just to put that in there. But that's the main purpose for this small scheme is for like quick references for maybe canning, um, gardening, whatever. And then this is a notebook that I have that um, I kind of put this in here. Uh, this may be like a little creative notebook, but an encouragement notebook. So I have this uh, spiritual parenting uh, book that I got years ago. So I just, it fits like nicely in the back. So I put that there. And then this May Coco Daisy, which I'm debating. I'm thinking about... Um, um, what's it called? Um, planning out like my scripture writing, and I'm thinking I may just do like pictures of nature from past to now. So just pictures of different flowers and different things. So this may be kind of like a little uh, nature journal, or yeah, it's just a fun journal. There's so many pretty flowers in here. I feel like. This would be fun just to do like a like nature journal or yeah so that and then i have this um uh, sticker book uh free uh i can i think of the name i always go blank with this <laughs> but a um sticker yeah we'll just call it sticker book from Traveler's Company, and I started putting my May stickers for Coco Daisy in here, and then whatever, like nature stickers, whatever, I'll just put in here. And this, almost I guess like a nature journal. So that is it. So let's just see really quick how this fits in here, and then I will be all finished, because I'm curious to see how everything fits from this um union to this butter rum oh i keep calling it butter rum this emma let's see if i put that there oh, let's go ahead so i put the elastic on the back page where the pocket is curious to see how the um, other how the um, new number 10 compares to this number 8 it would be interesting um, I don't plan on getting too many so that's interesting I'm wondering how let's see how this is going to close so because What's nice about this, this is a very soft pocket, which I like. It's very soft. Then it has the um, undyed, which they do have this undyed leather um, in the shop. So if you want to get that, they have that. And I am curious to see if this is going to fit because it is a stiffer leather. Let's see. Yeah, it's not going to fit the same. So, that's fine. I am probably going to hold on to using this one anyway. But, as you can see, it fits this well. Let's see how it fits the moleskin. I know they're going to change the... Um, yeah. Yeah, that's a little bit difficult to get on there. So, that's fine. 
I am going to just use this because I am enjoying using this as well. So um, just as an FYI, they do have some, um, the number 10 in like a softer leather. So if you want to be able to, I guess, put things in the back pocket easier, unless they change their configurations for the number eight, it's probably better to get something softer. I know some people also um, put something in the back to loosen up the glue. But um, like I said, I'm enjoying this one. So I'm just going to put my setup back into here. But I'm just happy that I at least got the butter room. So thanks so much for stopping by. Y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. If you have any questions, just um, leave it in the comment section below. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.